A religious war or holy war Latin, bellum sacrum, is a war primarily caused or justified by differences in religion. In the modern period, debates are common over the extent to which religious, economic, or ethnic aspects of a conflict predominate in a given war. According to the Encyclopedia of Wars, out of all 1,763 known, recorded historical conflicts, 123, or 6.98%, had religion as their primary cause, and of that percentage, 66, or 53.66%, were related to Islam. Matthew White's The Great Big Book of Horrible Things gives religion as the cause of 13 of the world's 100 deadliest atrocities. In several conflicts including the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the Syrian civil war, and the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, religious elements are overtly present but variously described as fundamentalism or religious extremism—depending upon the observer's sympathies. However, studies on these cases often conclude that ethnic animosities drive much of the conflicts. Some historians argue that what is termed religious wars is a largely western dichotomy and a modern invention from the past few centuries, arguing that all wars that are classed as religious have secular economic or political ramifications. Similar opinions were expressed as early as the 1760s during the Seven Years War, widely recognized to be religious in motivation, noting that the warring factions were not necessarily split along confessional lines as much as along secular interests. According to Jeffrey Burton Russell, numerous cases of supposed acts of religious wars, such as the Thirty Years' War, the French Wars of Religion, the Sri Lankan Civil War, 9 11 and other terrorist attacks, the Bosnian War, and the Rwandan Civil War, were all primarily motivated by social, political, and economic issues rather than religion. History of the concept of religion The modern word religion comes from the Latin word religio. In the ancient and medieval world, the etymological Latin root religio was understood as an individual virtue of worship, never as doctrine, practice, or actual source of knowledge. The modern concept of religion as an abstraction which entails distinct sets of beliefs or doctrines is a recent invention in the English language since such usage began with texts from the 17th century due to the splitting of Christendom during the Protestant Reformation and more prevalent colonization or globalization in the Age of Exploration which involved contact with numerous foreign and indigenous cultures with non-European languages. It was in the 17th century that the concept of religion received its modern shape despite the fact that ancient texts like the Bible, the Quran, and other ancient sacred texts did not have a concept of religion in the original languages and neither did the people or the cultures in which these sacred texts were written. For example, the Greek word threskia, which was used by Greek writers such as Herodotus and Josephus and is found in texts like the New Testament, is sometimes translated as religion. Today, however, the term was understood as worship well into the medieval period. In the Quran, the Arabic word din is often translated as religion in modern translations, but up to the mid-1600s translators expressed din as law. Even in the first century AD, Josephus had used the Greek term iodeismos, which some translate as Judaism. Today, even though he used it as an ethnic term, not one linked to modern abstract concepts of religion as a set of beliefs. It was in the 19th century that the terms Buddhism Hinduism, Taoism, and Confucianism first emerged. Throughout its long history, Japan had no concept of religion, since there was no corresponding Japanese word, nor anything close to its meaning, but when American warships appeared off the coast of Japan in 1853 and forced the Japanese government to sign treaties demanding, among other things, freedom of religion, the country had to contend with this Western idea. According to the philologist Max Muller in the 19th century, the root of the English word, religion, the Latin religio, was originally used to mean only reverence for God or the gods, careful pondering of divine things, piety," which Cicero further derived to mean, "...diligence." Max Muller characterized many other cultures around the world, including Egypt, Persia, and India, as having a similar power structure at this point in history. What is called ancient religion today, they would have only called, "...law." Some languages have words that can be translated as, "...religion." 
but they may use them in a very different way, and some have no word for religion at all. For example, the Sanskrit word dharma, sometimes translated as religion, also means law. Throughout classical South Asia, the study of law consisted of concepts such as penance through piety and ceremonial as well as practical traditions. Medieval Japan at first had a similar union between imperial law and universal or Buddha law, but these later became independent sources of power. There is no precise equivalent of religion in Hebrew, and Judaism does not distinguish clearly between religious, national, racial, or ethnic identities. One of its central concepts is halakha, meaning the walk or path, sometimes translated as law, which guides religious practice and belief and many aspects of daily life. Topic. Criteria for classification Topic. The Crusades against Muslim expansion in the 11th century was recognized as a holy war, or bellum sacrum by later writers in the 17th century. The early modern wars against the Ottoman Empire were seen as a seamless continuation of this conflict by contemporaries. The term, religious war, was used to describe, controversially at the time, what are now known as the European Wars of Religion, and especially the then ongoing Seven Years' War, from at least the mid 18th century. In their Encyclopedia of Wars, authors Charles Phillips and Alan Axelrod document 1763 notable wars in world history. They note that before the 17th century, much of the reasons for conflicts were explained through the lens of religion and that after that time wars were explained through the lens of wars as a way to further sovereign interests. They note, "...wars have always arisen, and arise today, from territorial disputes, military rivalries, conflicts of ethnicity, and strivings for commercial and economic advantage, and they have always depended on, and depend on today, pride, prejudice, coercion, envy, cupidity, competitiveness, and a sense of injustice." But for much of the world before the 17th century, these reasons for war were explained and justified, at least for the participants, by religion. Then, around the middle of the 17th century, Europeans began to conceive of war as a legitimate means of furthering the interests of individual sovereigns. Some commentators have concluded that only 123 wars 7 out of these 1763 wars were fundamentally originated by religious motivations. Religious wars account for less than 2% of all people killed in warfare. This includes 3 million during the Crusades and 3,000 during the Inquisition. The Encyclopedia of War, edited by Gordon Martell, using the criteria that the armed conflict must involve some overt religious action, concludes that 6% of the wars listed in their encyclopedia can be labeled religious wars. William T. Kavanaugh, in his Myth of Religious Violence, 2009, argues that what is termed religious wars is a largely Western dichotomy and a modern invention, arguing that all wars that are classed as religious have secular economic or political ramifications. Similar opinions were expressed as early as the 1760s, during the Seven Years' War, widely recognized to be religious in motivation, noting that the warring factions were not necessarily split along confessional lines as much as along secular interests. It is evident that religion as one aspect of a people's cultural heritage may serve as a cultural marker or ideological rationalization for a conflict that has deeper ethnic and cultural differences. This has been specifically argued for the case of the Troubles in Northern Ireland, often portrayed as a religious conflict of a Catholic versus a Protestant faction, while the more fundamental cause of the conflict was in fact ethnic or nationalistic rather than religious in nature. Since the native Irish were mostly Catholic and the later British-sponsored immigrants were mainly Protestant, the terms become shorthand for the two cultures, but it is inaccurate to describe the conflict as a religious one. According to Irfan Omar and Michael Duffy's review of violence and peacemaking in world religions, they note that studies of supposed cases of religious violence often conclude that violence is strongly driven by ethnic animosities. Topic: The concept of holy war in individual religious traditions. Topic. 
while early empires could be described as henotheistic, i.e. dominated by a single god of the ruling elite as Marduk in the Babylonian Empire, Ashur in the Assyrian Empire, etc., or more directly by Dyfing the ruler in an imperial cult, the concept of holy war enters a new phase with the development of monotheism. Topic: <laughs> Ancient warfare and polytheism. Topic: Classical antiquity had a pantheon with particular attributes and interest areas. Ares personified war. While he received occasional sacrifice from armies going to war, there was only a very limited cult of Ares. In Sparta, however, each company of youths sacrificed to Enyalios before engaging in ritual fighting at the Phoebeum. Christianity In early Christianity, St. Augustine's concept of just war was widely accepted, but warfare was not regarded as a virtuous activity and expressions of concern for the salvation of those who killed enemies in battle, regardless of the cause for which they fought, was common. According to historian Edward Peters, before the 11th century Christians had not developed a concept of holy war. Bellum Sacrum, whereby fighting itself might be considered a penitential and spiritually meritorious act. During the 9th and 10th centuries, multiple invasions occurred which lead some regions to make their own armies to defend themselves and this slowly lead to the emergence of the Crusades, the concept of holy war, and terminology such as enemies of God. In the 11th century, during the time of the Crusades, some of those who fought in the name of God were recognized as the Milites Christi, soldiers or Knights of Christ. The Crusades were a series of military campaigns that took place during the 11th through 13th centuries against the Muslim conquests. Originally, the goal was to recapture Jerusalem and the Holy Land from the Muslims, and support the besieged Christian Byzantine Empire against the Muslim Seljuk expansion into Asia Minor and Europe proper. Later, crusades were launched against other targets, either for religious reasons, such as the Albigensian Crusade, the Northern Crusades, or because of political conflict, such as the Aragonese Crusade. In 1095, at the Council of Clermont, Pope Urban II raised the level of war from Bellum Eustum, just war, to Bellum Sacrum, holy war. In 16th century France there was a succession of wars between Roman Catholics and Protestants Huguenots primarily, known as the French Wars of Religion. In the first half of the 17th century, the German states, Scandinavia Sweden, primarily, and Poland were beset by religious warfare in the Thirty Years' War. Roman Catholicism and Protestantism figured in the opposing sides of this conflict, though Catholic France did take the side of the Protestants but purely for political reasons. The Battle of Las Navas de Toulouse, known in Arab history as the Battle of Al-Uqab, Merkt al qab took place on 16 July 1212 and was an important turning point in the Reconquista and in the medieval history of Spain. The forces of King Alfonso VIII of Castile were joined by the armies of his Christian rivals, Sancho VII of Navarre, Pedro II of Aragon and Afonso II of Portugal in battle against the Berber Muslim Almohad conquerors of the southern half of the Iberian Peninsula. Islam The Muslim conquests were a military expansion on an unprecedented scale, beginning in the lifetime of Muhammad and spanning the centuries, down to the Ottoman Wars in Europe. Until the 13th century, the Muslim conquests were those of a more or less coherent empire, the Caliphate, but after the Mongol invasions, expansion continued on all fronts other than Iberia which was lost in the Reconquista for another half millennium until the final collapse of the Mughal Empire in the east and the Ottoman Empire in the west with the onset of the modern period. There were also a number of periods of infighting among Muslims, these are known by the term fitna and mostly concern the early period of Islam, from the 7th to 11th centuries, i.e. before the collapse of the Caliphate and the emergence of the various later Islamic empires. While technically, the millennium of Muslim conquests could be classified as religious war, the applicability of the term has been questioned. The reason is that the very notion of a religious war, as opposed to a Secular war is the result of the Western concept of the separation of church and state. No such division has ever existed in the Islamic world, and consequently there cannot be a real division between wars that are religious from such that are non-religious. 
Islam does not have any normative tradition of pacifism, and warfare has been integral part of Islamic history both for the defense and the spread of the faith since the time of Muhammad. This was formalized in the juristic definition of war in Islam, which continues to hold normative power in contemporary Islam, inextricably linking political and religious justification of war. This normative concept is known as jihad, an Arabic word with the meaning, to strive, to struggle, viz. in the way of God, which includes the aspect of struggle, by the sword. The first forms of military jihad occurred after the migration hijra of Muhammad and his small group of followers to Medina from Mecca and the conversion of several inhabitants of the city to Islam. The first revelation concerning the struggle against the Meccans was Surah 22, verses 39-40, to those against whom war is made, permission is given to fight, because they are wronged, and verily, Allah is most powerful for their aid. They are those who have been expelled from their homes in defiance of right, for no cause, except that they say. Our Lord is Allah. Did not Allah check one set of people by means of another, there would surely have been pulled down monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques, in which the name of Allah is commemorated in abundant measure. Allah will certainly aid those who aid his cause, for verily Allah is full of strength, exalted in might, able to enforce his will. This happened many times throughout history, beginning with Muhammad's battles against the polytheist Arabs including the Battle of Badr 624, and battles in Uhud 625, Khandak 627, Mecca 630, and Hunayn 630. Topic. Judaism Topic. In the Jewish religion, the expression Milkemet Mitzvah Hebrew, Milkmith. Commandment war refers to a war that is obligatory for all Jews, men and women. Such wars were limited to territory within the borders of the land of Israel. The geographical limits of Israel and conflicts with surrounding nations are detailed in the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible, especially in Numbers chapter 34 verses 1 to 15 and Ezekiel chapter 47 verses 13 to 20. The concept of a religious war was absent in Jewish thought for approximately 2,000 years, though it re-emerged in some factions of the Zionist movement, particularly revisionist Zionism. From the earliest days of Israel's existence as a people, holy war was a sacred institution, undertaken as a cultic act of a religious community, according to Reuven Firestone. Holy war is a Western concept referring to war that is fought for religion, against adherents of other religions, often in order to promote religion through conversion, and with no specific geographic limitation. This concept does not occur in the Hebrew Bible, whose wars are not fought for religion or in order to promote it but, rather, in order to preserve religion and a religiously unique people in relation to a specific and limited geography. Topic. Religious conflict in the modern period Topic. Topic. Israeli-Palestinian conflict Topic. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict can be viewed primarily as an ethnic conflict between two parties where one party is most often portrayed as a singular ethno-religious group consisting only of the Jewish majority and ignores non-Jewish minority Israeli citizens who at varying levels support a Zionist state, especially the Druze and Circassians who for example volunteer in higher numbers for IDF combat service and are represented in the Israeli parliament in greater percentages than Israeli Jews are as well as Israeli Arabs, Samaritans. Christians, various other Christians, and Negev Bedouin. The other party is sometimes presented as an ethnic group which is multi religious, although most numerously consisting of Muslims, then Christians, then other religious groups up to and including Samaritans and even Jews. Yet despite the multi religious composition of both of the parties in the conflict, elements on both sides often view it as a religious war between Jews and Muslims. In 1929, religious tensions between Muslim and Jewish Palestinians over Jews praying at the Wailing Wall led to the 1929 Palestine riots including the Hebron and Safed ethnic cleansings of Jews. In 1947, the UN decided on partitioning the Mandate of Palestine, led to the creation of the State of Israel and Jordan annexing the West Bank portion of the Mandate, since then the region has been plagued with conflict. 
The 1948 Palestinian exodus also known as the Nakba Arabic, Alp, occurred when approximately 711,000 to 726,000 Palestinian Arabs fled or were expelled from their homes, during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War and the civil war that preceded it. The exact number of refugees is a matter of dispute, though the number of Palestine refugees and their unsettled descendants registered with UNRWA is more than 4.3 million. The causes remain the subject of fundamental disagreement between Palestinians and Israelis. Jews make a religious and historical claim to the land, and Palestinians make historic, religious and ethnic claims to the land. Pakistan and India the All India Muslim League AIML was formed in Dhaka in 1906 by Muslims who were suspicious of the Hindu-majority Indian National Congress. They complained that Muslim members did not have the same rights as Hindu members. A number of different scenarios were proposed at various times, this was fueled by the British policy of ''divide and rule'', which they tried to bring upon every political situation. Among the first to make the demand for a separate state was the writer, philosopher Allama Iqbal, who, in his presidential address to the 1930 Convention of the Muslim League said that a separate nation for Muslims was essential in an otherwise Hindu-dominated subcontinent. After the dissolution of the British Raj in 1947, two new sovereign nations were formed—the Union of India and the Dominion of Pakistan. The subsequent partition of the former British India displaced up to 12.5 million people, with estimates of loss of life varying from several hundred thousand to a million. India emerged as a secular nation with a Hindu majority, while Pakistan was established as an Islamic republic with Muslim majority population. Abyssinia, Somalia the Abyssinian Adal War was a military conflict between the Abyssinians and the Adal Sultanate from 1529 until 1559. The Imam Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al Ghazi, nicknamed Guri in Somali and Gran in Amharic, Granu, both meaning the left handed, came close to extinguishing the ancient realm of Abyssinia, and forcibly converting all of its surviving subjects to Islam. The intervention of the European Cristóvão da Gama, son of the famous navigator Vasco da Gama, attempted to help to prevent this outcome but was killed by Al-Ghazi. However, both polities exhausted their resources and manpower in this conflict, allowing the northward migration of the Oromo into their present homelands to the north and west of Addis Ababa. Many historians trace the origins of hostility between Somalia and Ethiopia to this war. Some historians also argue that this conflict proved, through their use on both sides, the value of firearms such as the matchlock musket, cannons, and the arquebus over traditional weapons. Nigerian conflict Inter-ethnic conflict in Nigeria has generally had a religious element. Riots against Igbo in 1953 and in the 1960s in the north were said to have been sparked by religious conflict. The riots against Igbo in the north in 1966 were said to have been inspired by radio reports of mistreatment of Muslims in the south. A military coup d'état led by lower and middle ranking officers, some of them Igbo, overthrew the NPCNCNC-dominated government. Prime Minister Balewa along with other northern and western government officials were assassinated during the coup. The coup was considered an Igbo plot to overthrow the northern-dominated government. A counter-coup was launched by mostly northern troops. Between June and July there was a mass exodus of IBO from the north and west. Over 1.3 million IBO fled the neighboring regions in order to escape persecution as anti-IBO riots increased. The aftermath of the anti-IBO riots led many to believe that security could only be gained by separating from the north. In the 1980s, serious outbreaks between Christians and Muslims occurred in Kafanchan in southern Kaduna state in a border area between the two religions. The 2010 Yosh riots saw clashes between Muslim herders against Christian farmers near the volatile city of Yosh, resulting in hundreds of casualties. Officials estimated that 500 people were massacred in nighttime raids by rampaging Muslim gangs. Topic: <inaudible> Buddhist uprising. Topic: 
During the rule of the Catholic Go Dinh Diem in South Vietnam, the discrimination against the majority Buddhist population generated the growth of Buddhist institutions as they sought to participate in national politics and gain better treatment. The Buddhist uprising of 1966 was a period of civil and military unrest in South Vietnam, largely focused in the first core area in the north of the country in central Vietnam, in a country where the Buddhist majority was estimated to be between 70 and 90 percent. Diem ruled with a strong religious bias. As a member of the Catholic Vietnamese minority, he pursued pro Catholic policies that antagonized many Buddhists. Chinese conflict Topic. The Dungan Revolt (1862–1877) and Panthei Rebellion (1856–1873) by the way were also set off by racial antagonism and class warfare, rather than the mistaken assumption that it was all due to Islam that the rebellions broke out. During the Dungan Revolt, fighting broke out between Uyghurs and Wei. In 1936, after Sheng Shikai expelled 20,000 Kazakhs from Xinjiang to Qinghai, the Wei led by General Ma Bufang massacred their fellow Muslims, the Kazakhs, until there were only 135 of them left. Tensions with Uyghurs and Wei arose because Qing and Republican Chinese authorities used Wei troops and officials to dominate the Uyghurs and crush Uyghur revolts. Xinjiang's Wei population increased by over 520% between 1940 and 1982, an average annual growth rate of 4.4%, while the Uyghur population only grew by 1.7%. This dramatic increase in the Wei population led inevitably to significant tensions between the Wei and Uyghur Muslim populations. Some old Uyghurs in Kashgar remember that the Wei army at the Battle of Kashgar 1934 massacred 2,000 to 8,000 Uyghurs, which caused tension as more Wei moved into Kashgar from other parts of China. Some Wei criticize Uyghur separatism, and generally do not want to get involved in conflicts in other countries over Islam for fear of being perceived as radical. Wei and Uyghur live apart from each other, praying separately and attending different mosques. Topic. Lebanese Civil War Topic. There is no consensus among scholars on what triggered the Lebanese Civil War. However, the militarization of the Palestinian refugee population, with the arrival of the PLO guerrilla forces did spark an arms race amongst the different Lebanese political factions. However the conflict played out along three religious lines, Sunni Muslim, Christian Lebanese and Shiite Muslim, Druze are considered among Shiite Muslims. It has been argued that the antecedents of the war can be traced back to the conflicts and political compromises reached after the end of Lebanon's administration by the Ottoman Empire. The Cold War had a powerful disintegrative effect on Lebanon, which was closely linked to the polarization that preceded the 1958 political crisis. During the 1948 Arab-Israeli War an exodus of Palestinian refugees who fled the fighting or were expelled from their homes, arrived in Lebanon. Palestinians came to play a very important role in future Lebanese civil conflicts, whilst the establishment of Israel radically changed the local environment in which Lebanon found itself. Lebanon was promised independence and on of November 1943 it was achieved. Free French troops, who had invaded Lebanon in 1941 to rid Beirut of the Vichy French forces, left the country in 1946. The Christians assumed power over the country and economy. A confessional parliament was created, where Muslims and Christians were given quotas of seats in parliament. As well, the president was to be a Christian, the prime minister a Sunni Muslim and the speaker of parliament a Shia Muslim. In March 1991, Parliament passed an amnesty law that pardoned all political crimes prior to its enactment. The amnesty was not extended to crimes perpetrated against foreign diplomats or certain crimes referred by the cabinet to the Higher Judicial Council. In May 1991, the militias with the important exception of Hezbollah were dissolved, and the Lebanese armed forces began to slowly rebuild themselves as Lebanon's only major non-sectarian institution. Some violence still occurred. In late December 1991 a car bomb estimated to carry 220 pounds of TNT exploded in the Muslim neighborhood of Basta. At least 30 people were killed, and 120 wounded, including former Prime Minister Shafiq Wazin, who was riding in a bulletproof car. Yugoslav <inaudible> <inaudible> Wars <inaudible> 
The Croatian War (1991–95) and Bosnian War (1992–95) have been viewed of as religious wars between the Orthodox, Catholic, and Muslim populations of former Yugoslavia, that is, Serbs, Croats, and Bosniaks. Traditional religious symbols were used during the wars. Notably, foreign Muslim volunteers came to Bosnia to wage jihad. Jihad doesn't mean holy war; it means struggle, and were thus known as. Bosnian Mujahideen. Topic Sudanese Civil War Topic The Second Sudanese Civil War from 1983 to 2005 have described the conflict as an ethno-religious one where the Muslim central government's pursuits to impose Sharia law on non-Muslim Southerners led to violence, and eventually to the civil war. The war resulted in the independence of South Sudan six years after the war ended. Sudan is Muslim and South Sudan is Christian. Topic references topic topic Bibliography topic Nigel Cliff, Holy War, How Vasco da Gama's Epic Voyages Turned the Tide in a Centuries-Old Clash of Civilizations, HarperCollins, ISBN 9780062097101 2011. Roger Crowley, 1453, The Holy War for Constantinople and the Clash of Islam in the West, Hyperion, ISBN 9781401305500 2013. Reuven Firestone, Holy War in Judaism, The Fall and Rise of a Controversial Idea, Oxford University Press, ISBN 9780199860242 2012. Suhil H. Hashmi, Just Wars, Holy Wars, and Jihads, Christian, Jewish, and Muslim Encounters and Exchanges, Oxford University Press, ISBN 9780199755000 2012. James Turner Johnson, The Holy War Idea in Western and Islamic Traditions, Pennsylvania State University Press, ISBN 9780271042101 1997. Diane Kirby, Religion and the Cold War, Palgrave Macmillan, ISBN 9781137339000 2013 reprint Stephen Merritt Minor, Stalin's Holy War, Religion, Nationalism, and Alliance Politics, 1941–1945, Univ of North Carolina Press, ISBN 9780807862203 2003. Christian Mulling, Die Europäische Debit über den Religionskrieg 1679-1714. Confessionelle Memoria und Internationale Politik im Zetalter Ludwigs 14, Verifenlichungen des Instituts für Europäische Geschichte Mainz, 250 Göttingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht, ISBN 9783525310 2018. David S. New, Holy War, The Rise of Militant Christian, Jewish and Islamic Fundamentalism, McFarland, ISBN 9781476639 2013. Vivek Swaroop Sharma, What Makes a Conflict Religious, in the National Interest 154 March, April 2018, 46-55. Full text available at http colon slash slash nationalinterest.org slash feature slash what dash makes dash conflict dash religious dash two four five seven six. Topic External Links Topic Wars of Religion Maps of War, History of Religion <laughs>